Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong has again tested positive for COVID-19 just days after announcing that he had tested negative for the virus. And Mr Lee said that doctors have told him he is suffering from a COVID rebound and that it happens in 5 to 10 percent of cases. He added that at this stage he is still infectious and has been told to self-isolate until he tests negative. Mr. Lee had returned to work on Monday after revealing that he'd recovered. This is the leader's first COVID-19 infection. And for more, we're joined by Dr. Leong Ho Nam, infectious diseases specialist from Rofi Clinic at Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital. Uh, Dr. Leong, what is COVID rebound? How do you get it? Thank you for having me on the program. COVID rebound actually means after an episode of infection, you develop symptoms again, and thereafter you may be tested positive for antigen or may be positive on the PCR result. So you had the infection, recover someone, and re reinfected. Well, not reinfected, but you have the infection again. Infection, recover, infection again. Dr. Leong, we understand that it affects about 5 to 10 percent of cases, but is it serious? And, and if so, should we be concerned, if at all, about this? Great question. The answer is majority of the people, more than 99 percent of them, will be fine. You may feel sick, but it will be very similar and probably much better than earlier episode of infection. The downside is that you may be infectious again and you may transmit the virus to your loved ones or those people you interact with. I think the biggest concern are those who have weakened immunity or uh, those with immunocompromised holes such as on steroids or it might be your organ transplant recipient. In those individuals that rebound may signal a new and persistent infection. So that group of individuals, we have to be a little bit more careful. Dr. Leong, I was going to ask you about the Paxlovid treatment, but before we get there, uh, something you said earlier in your first answer to the question, uh, I wasn't quite clear to me. So you said he recovered, uh, PM Lee, and he was infected again. And then you corrected yourself and said, no, he, the infection was still there. So is it he was infected again or was the original infection never quite eradicated from his system? Sorry, let's make it clear again. So it's an infection recovered, but the infection recurred again. It's the same virus. If you were to sequence the beginning and sequence it thereafter, it's exactly the same virus, but you have a recurrence of symptoms, recurrence of the virus detection in the nose, be it by antigen or PCR. All right, then very quickly, uh, the question I was supposed to ask you about the Paxlovid treatment uh, is used for those at risk of severe COVID-19. How useful is this particular treatment if COVID rebound is going to happen? I, I think it's really very, very good in terms of treatment of COVID-19. It does reduce hospitalization, reduce death rates. It does reduce the risk of long COVID as well. But unfortunately, you still can get COVID rebound with Paxlovid. If you are not taking Paxlovid, guess what? You will also get the risk of same rebound. Or you might be taking monopiravir, you will also get rebound. So rebound is very much a viral phenomenon rather than a Paxlovid phenomenon. So I will not discontinue. I will still use Paxlovid if I need to for my patients. Dr. Leong, are you saying that the benefits of using Paxlovid always outweigh the cons? In, in, there's actually very little reasons why you don't want to use Paxlovid. And that will be the cons, as you talked about, will be potential drug-to-drug -drug interactions with drug levels that are too high. If a person qualifies for Paxlovid, I would strongly encourage the individual to take it. Broadly, you have a 10 times reduction in hospitalization as well as uh, death risk immediately simply by taking Paxlovid. So when you are given the opportunity, you are entitled and you qualify and there are no significant interactions, please go ahead and take it because the cons are practically non-existent. Uh, Dr. Leung, a final question here. Uh, across the course of uh, the, the last few years managing COVID-19, we have been speaking to you, asking for updates, asking you to explain things. How would you describe the current COVID-19 situation in Singapore? 
the COVID-19 situation honestly is doing quite well because many of us are vaccinated. Many of us have our required minimum three to four boosters and many of the at-risk individuals even have had five shots. And with that, it really brings up the level of herd immunity really very, very well. In comparison, if you look at the other countries which are not fully not well vaccinated, you do end up with many deaths and overloaded hospital situations. So Singapore, you have done very well, but we must be aware that the virus is going to mutate, it's going to adapt, and we might be caught with a new virus, a new mutated form very quickly, and we must be ready for the next, next battle. And the next battle begins with making sure that we have our good herd immunity, and the availability of antiviral agents such as Paxlovid or Monopiravir and even Remdesivir. Singapore, you've done very well and just a little bit more and we should be out of it. A thumbs up there from Dr. Leong Ho Nam. Thanks so much for joining us. Infectious diseases expert from the Rofi Clinic at Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital.